you draw out like the overall double top area and then you can just look left if you want but as you can see it has been pushing to the downside we have this impulsive move to the downside and then we have this overall corrective move so we are looking for more selling opportunities from here to reach like this area and also feel this weak creation around this area here so i think it makes sense for gbpaud to push to the downside around there so i'll, I'll just move to the for our chart the reason being i can't see like the overall structure so as you can see here i'll just put like the lower slow around there and then cater for the overall structure of which is this one around here then we broke structure and then we are corrective at the moment and then you can just draw out also on this area around here like this so we are pushing to the downside as you can see and then moving to the hour chart that is where you look for your entries all the time and then you can put like your 90 percent rule if you want let me just try and zoom out a bit so we have the 90 percent rule around here so what you do at the moment you look at the current market structure of which is here and then you look for opportunities for you to take like an entry so at the moment we have this type of pattern trying to form up around here at the top of the structure which is like this and then now we look for uh, some type of entries or you can just forecast any entries that you want so at the top of the structure we have two touches and at the bottom of the structure we also have like two touches so what i'm expecting is for the market to give us like a double top push to the upside like this and then you have a double top and then the market will just drop around there and for you to be like on the safe side you can just wait for that corrective move to the upside reach here push to the downside breaking this overall uh trend line around here after it breaks the trend line that's where you can look for a tight flag six to eight hours as you all know and then that is where you can just uh place your sell stop around there and then your stop loss is just above now let me just throw it out like this your stop loss is just above the structure like that and then another entry that you can look for is for the third touch at the top of the structure just because we have this one two and then the market can just push to the upside let me just remove uh, those squabbles around there so that i can so that you can see uh, what i'm talking about so removed removed okay so the market can just trickle to the upside just like this and then give us like a third touch at the top of the structure in a form of a one two three completion let me just remove these uh remove okay so in a form of a third touch and then you look for an entry at the top of the structure like that or you can take like an entry on the break of structure of which is something of this nature let me just take uh, a price and then show you like what i'm talking about let me just remove those first push it to the side and then let me just take this price action around here so like this the market can just trickle to the upside in this format and then after it reaches like that nice area let me just uh oh let me just remove that okay let me just start over just because it didn't work out okay so like this uh, I don't know what I'm doing for well, flip. Let me just so the market can re just reach like this area here. Let me just do this. Okay, yeah. So the market can just reach this area here and then you look for a break of structure of which is would be around here and then you take your sell at the break sell stop at the break and then your stop loss is just above like this area here and then you look for sales from there 
Okay, so that is it for GBP AUD. Then I'll share setups that I see uh, during the day.